one of the most common questions we get on our channel is what kind of microphone should I use with my GoPro? Should I use the GoPro's internal microphones? Should I use the GoPro Media Mod? Should I use any number of the various external microphones available? That's a really good question. So in this video, we have the GoPro Hero 9 and we're gonna test it out with the internal microphones and compare it to the sound output of the Media Mod and also several different external microphones. Those external microphones that we'll be testing include the Rode Video Micro, the Joby Wavo Mobile, the Edutij ETM001, the Ceramonic SXM01, something like that, and the GoPro Media Mod microphones, as well as the Rode Wireless Go and the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. So before we get started, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Let me know which microphone you think is gonna perform the very best. So to get started, this is the GoPro Hero 9 Black with only internal microphones turned on. We do also have the wind reduction set to auto and there is, I guess, a light breeze going on. There's some, there's some waves to the left of me and a grain elevator behind me. So definitely some competing noise around me, but this is what it sounds like. And when we flip the microphone, when we flip the camera, excuse me, forward. This is what it sounds like when I'm speaking to the back of the camera. Looks like the smoke has come back, unfortunately. Ugh, icky. For this next test, still have the internal microphones, but we went ahead and turned the wind reduction to off. Again, we don't have a lot of wind right now, so this may not make the biggest difference in the world, but this is what it sounds like with wind reduction off with the GoPro internal microphones. Next, we're gonna test out the Media Mod with the Hero 9 Black. Now, this is a brand new Media Mod that's specifically made to fit the Hero 9. So if you have the Media Mod for the Hero 8, unfortunately, it's not gonna work with the Hero 9. But the nice thing about this Media Mod is that the microphone seems to be a little bit better and it actually comes with a foam windscreen. So we're gonna do a test first with the windscreen and then we're gonna remove that windscreen to see the audio difference. All right, we have the GoPro Media Mod connected. And now with the new GoPro Hero 9 Media Mod, there are a few changes to using it with the GoPro. First of all, you get audio levels on the back screen. I wish that they would add them to the front facing screen as well, but seeing those audio levels just verifies that your mic is connected and that it's working. Unfortunately, you can't adjust the audio levels. They just are what they are, but it's still nice to make sure that your external microphone is connected. Next, there's a windscreen on top of that microphone, so the windscreen is currently on, but we will take the windscreen off in a second. Oh, I see a seal out there. So cool. I don't know if you can see it bobbing its head up right there. Part of the interruption, but that actually proves another point about this media mod. So on the previous media mod, there was a setting, a stereo setting, so that you could enable both microphones to record, whether you were in the front of the camera or the back of the camera. But with this new media mod, you unfortunately can only select the front microphone to be active or the back microphone to be active. So if you want to use the both microphones interchangeably, you'd have to pause recording and change the mic setting. So that is a little annoying, but I'll show you what I'm talking about because right now that front facing mic is enabled, but the second I flip the camera around, you probably won't be able to hear me as clearly, but maybe we'll get some seals to pop up again and you can watch that instead. But yeah, that's a bit of a downside. Okay, so I paused recording and I changed the media mod input to be the back facing microphone. So now that I'm behind the camera, you should be able to hear me pretty well. But the problem again with that is that if we were to shift the camera forward while recording, you're probably not gonna hear me as well, but this would be a good test to see, you know, if you can get any audio at all like this but my guess is probably not. And as a comparison, here's the third audio setting with the media mod, which is camera mics. So on the Hero 8, the third setting was the stereo mic setting, which let you use both the front and the back mic simultaneously. But, but this new setting on the Hero 9, it looks like the description actually says that it turns off the media mod mics and I think reverts back to the GoPro's internal mics. So I'm not really sure why that is, but we'll see how that sounds then if we flip the camera and I'm now behind it. Maybe that means that audio is still even. So I went back and flipped the media mod mic settings to front mic since we're vlogging right now. And we still have that foam windscreen on top, but I'll go ahead and remove it and we'll see what it sounds like without the foam windscreen. 
So here's that windscreen. It's actually really small. It's not as big as some of those really big fluffy windscreens, but yeah, we'll see what the effectiveness is. There's, you know, a light breeze coming through. It's not really the windiest, but maybe I can make some wind. That's what it sounds like. Went ahead and put that windscreen back on. And again, we don't have a whole lot of wind, so I'll go ahead and create some wind so that we can hear the difference. Next, we're gonna move on to some of our small, super compact and cheap microphones to test out. This is the Edutige ETM-001. It's an omnidirectional microphone, and it's the one that we use a lot with our, Go with our previous GoPros, such as the GoPro Hero 8. So one thing to note is that whenever you connect an external mic to the media mod, you have to go over to preferences and mods. Then you have to select what kind of microphone you're plugging into your GoPro. In this case, it's a standard microphone. So we went ahead and selected standard microphone and this is what it sounds like. So I popped that little Edutage mic onto the GoPro Hero 9 media mod and this is what it sounds like. There is a bit of a restriction with that microphone in that or actually it's not really the microphone, it's a combination of the microphone and the media mod. So the media mod adds a mic jack, but that mic jack is on the back of the camera. And this microphone is points straight back. So the only problem with that is that if you're in the front of the camera, the mic isn't quite directly facing you. So the audio is probably not going to be as good. Well, let me flip the camera around so that you can watch the seal eating show. And you can probably hear me a lot better because now the Sudutish mic is pointing straight back at me, so it's picking up my voice a lot better. So because of some of the shortcomings with that Edutage microphone, that is why we tend to use this little Saramonic microphone a lot instead. And the reason is this microphone can bend in different directions, and so that makes it stick out a little bit more to the side so that it can better pick up sound on the front, in the front of the camera and in the back of the camera. Let's go ahead and pop on the Saramonic microphone and hear the difference. So now the Saramonic microphone is plugged in and currently it's facing straight up. So I don't know if it's gonna be picking me up the very best, but the nice thing about this mic is that it's a little flexible so I can point it out to the side a bit. And when I do that, now the mic is pointing straight out, I can actually see the microphone, which means it's probably picking up my voice a lot better when I'm in the front of the camera. And if I flip the camera around, my voice should be pretty even because now the mic is straight in front of me but again it's still a lot better i think than that edutage microphone at picking up sound evenly in the front and the back of the camera the only problem is that there might still be a lot of ambient noise being recorded and that is why we test out some of these upcoming microphones which should hopefully reduce a lot of that ambient noise Okay, the next two microphones we're going to test out are the Joby Wavo Mobile. Is it mobile or mobile? Mobile. Mobile, mobile, whatever. The Joby Wavo Mobile and the Rode Video Micro. Now these two microphones look really, really similar, but their price points are pretty different. So it'd be really interesting to hear the difference. But let's start with the Rode Video Micro first. All right, we have the Rode Video Micro on top of the GoPro. It also has the windscreen on top, which you can probably see a touch of it there. Uh, there is a little adapter that can raise up that mic just a touch, but I don't have that particular one for this microphone, so I'll just have to make do with this little fluff for now. But this is what it sounds like with the Rode Video Micro. And this is a really great mic because the size complements that of the GoPro, so, uh, which is the same for the Joby. But again, this is a really interesting quality test. One shortcoming though of this microphone and some of the other ones that are coming up is that if you flip the camera around and you're now standing at the other side of the camera, that microphone is not going to pick you up as well because it's a really directional mic. So mics like this are best if you're standing on one side of the camera, but if you want to be flipping from the front and the back of the camera, then you'll have to use an omnidirectional microphone like that Adutage or that Saramonic, or just have to pause recording and physically flip the microphone to face the other way. This is the windscreen removed, and this is what it sounds like without the windscreen. Don't have a lot of wind, so you may not hear the biggest difference right now, but it does make a huge difference if you are in a windy or breezy situation having this windscreen on. 
The next microphone is the cousin of the Rode Video Micro, which is that Joby Wavo Mobile. It's a really great looking mic. It's even slightly bigger than that Rode, so their audio quality might be slightly better. It's hard to say. Uh, I also do have that windscreen on top, and this microphone does have that little adapter so that that windscreen is not dipping into the frame. Now, this mic does have that issue though, where if you are standing on the other side of the camera, pointing at you, then it's not going to be picking up your voice as well. Remove the windscreen from that Joby microphone, and this is what it sounds like without the windscreen. There's, you know, again, a light breeze, but probably won't be the biggest difference without the windscreen, but in breezier, windier conditions, this would definitely make a huge difference in the audio quality. The next microphone we'll be testing is the biggest and most expensive microphone that I own, which is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. This mic is much bigger than the Rode Video Micro and that Joby Wavo Mobile. It's probably double the size of the GoPro, so it's definitely gonna stick out more. But because it is larger and it's more expensive, it, the audio quality is probably gonna be a lot better. And I do say that because in general, the more you pay for an item when it comes to photo, photo and video, the better the quality is gonna be. But let's see if that's true. The other difference with this microphone besides the size is that it's a powered microphone, so you wanna make sure to change the input uh, in your GoPro when you connect this, this microphone. But because it's powered, it also has the ability to control the levels, which is something that the other microphones here so far do not let you do. So now I have that Rode Video Mic Pro Plus connected to the GoPro and we actually got a lot of waves coming in now on the left side so this is going to be a good test to see if this microphone can single out my voice and not pick up as much ambient noise. <laughs> Unfortunately I don't have a windscreen for this microphone uh, so if there is any wind interference I apologize. You could put a windscreen on top to combat a lot of that wind but it will make this microphone a lot bigger than it already is. And similar to our other shotgun microphones and directional microphones that we've used, this microphone will suffer a lot in quality if it's not pointed directly at your subject. All right, and our very last test is with the Rode Wireless Go. In the past, this has always given us the very best quality. And the microphone is actually right here. It's a lavalier or lapel microphone that is wireless. So it doesn't matter how far away the camera is from me. All that matters is how far away this microphone is from me. So I can spin the camera around in any direction and the audio should still be very consistent because this mic is still clipped to me and it doesn't matter what direction or where the camera is pointing.